doing lots of maneuvers now, but we'll get him. There he is. We'll have a quick look at him. How's this gorgeous man? I'm going to keep moving, so as he comes closer, I'm going to start the engine and start reversing as I would like to, of course, uh, stay in front of him. But this is Tingana, and I'm just going to move back again. Sorry, boy. I just need to give him a bit of room, so sorry, Vim. It's going to be a bit of a bumpy thing. But we'll just try to keep moving it just in front of him like this. What I'll do is I'll go right back. So we can watch him come towards us but he is definitely on a territorial patrol at the moment as you can see and knowing Tingana I did see his beautiful smiley face on his left shoulder right we'll sit here and watch him come towards us and then we'll have to do the same thing over again but he is definitely on the move today hello beautiful VM, are you happy? Mm -hmm. This is VM's favorite leopard on the whole property. He loves him so much. So VM is now smiling from ear to ear that this is how he could start his day. And what we'll do is I don't want to make him nervous again, so I'm just going to jump back up and go backwards. Right. Hey, boy. So he's going to mark again, and that's all he's going to do the whole morning. I'm really hoping he'll rasp for us because there's nothing quite like that sound. There he is. Marking his territory one end. No, Tingana. Come back this way, please. Ooh, there's, I can see antelope eyes just behind him. That's quite exciting. He, he hasn't seen the antelope just yet, though. Tingana, look to your right. Look to your right. That is a very lucky... I think it's an Inyala. But Tingan has also been making much noise this morning, so everything does know that he's around. Tax, please join. Please take over the sighting. I'm going to go radio down. I'm just going to turn my radio off and hand the sighting over to Taxon. Let's see what this beautiful boy is going to get up to. Now, I really do hope that he does decide to climb this massive jackalberry tree. And perhaps he goes to have a rest. You can see it there. It's the biggest tree. But this is really, really cool. But we'll have to see. He's probably been walking all night. Remember yesterday we had his tracks all over the property. So I think he's done a loop. He's probably gone into Torchwood and then maybe done a quick loop into Bihulsuk. And then back down towards us. And who knows where he's going to go next. I'm just going to let the other car spotlight him. I don't want to put too many spotlights on this cat. Now, Daniel, good morning. You're wondering if that smell is similar to a house cat's urine. It isn't. Uh, it smells completely different. Hello, boy. He's just walking right next to the car. Uh, the smell is actually quite different. You see how close he's getting. Right, now we need to play a game of cat and mouse. Good morning. Leopard whisperer, right? No, I'm <laughs> Those are my friends in the other car, so of course I took a bit of banter. Um, they've been giving me gears the entire time about how I need to find them a leopard and I haven't but we finally found um, them all a leopard uh, so so sorry Daniel so cats normal domesticated cat's urine doesn't smell pleasant at all whereas uh, leopard's urine it's the most incredible scent and it sounds bizarre and you really will never understand the smell unless you get to smell it for yourself but the closest thing that I can think of it's sort of like buttery popcorn if you will um, oh, look at that. We'll just stop here and watch him while he's being illuminated by the other car's light. And that's another very important thing when you are on safari. And we try our best to not... Oh, that's beautiful. Huh? It almost looks like it's the sun glowing on his beautiful face. But we try not to put too many lights on the cat. So with spotlights and things, we'll just have one vehicle uh, using a spotlight. But this is great for us because we get this beautiful backlighting. And, and if you're all starting to get to know me pretty well now, and I love a good backlighting session. But the clouds are breaking away, which is good. So we won't need to spotlight very soon. We'll just be able to view him in the lovely morning golden light. But let's catch up with him again. Hello Tracy, good morning, thank you for your question. So Tracy, you've asked on this fine day filled with spotted cats, uh, why does he have loose skin under his neck and also on his belly? Well Tracy, it's for two different reasons. The big flap underneath his neck 
that excess skin is uh, I'm gonna jump I'm gonna go past him again so we can um, view him a little bit better I'm actually gonna go and try and pa go past this game viewer so we get to see him for a little bit longer uh, so basically that's a dewlap and you see you actually see it with there's a number of different animals but leopards it helps having that extra skin to help protect their necks they've got very very thick powerful necks and then this excess skin on their bodies underneath their tummy well that's just because he's maybe a little bit hungry he doesn't look as 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 big as what he normally does you can see look he's going to walk right past that other car too just to show you how close he gets and and once he's eaten an entire impala there will be no excess loose skin his entire tummy will swell up and uh, that's the design of of course me get my spotlight again of a leopard and a lion and any predator is that they're able to gorge themselves we have a quick groom he's a beautiful cat the last time we saw him he was massive he almost looked like he was double the size but he would also just eaten a meal so as he's patrolling, it does not really doing it too much good that he is calling because he's going to lose out on a potential meal because everything is going to run away from him if they hear him shouting out and all the time. Though he likes to make these sacrifices every now and then, of course. We're just going to wait for him to go past. I don't want to ruin the other guy's shots. There we go. My goodness, it's a very exciting morning. We've gone from spotted cat we're going to send you across now to James, who 